The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law, and today we're going to talk about some alternatives to traditional divorce. So let's talk about what a traditional divorce is first. In a traditional divorce, the parties have to go to court to litigate issues before the judge and have a trial about issues they can't resolve. And these issues are usually child support, child custody, spousal maintenance, and the division of assets and liabilities. So this can take a while. It can take a year. Uh, and it can be expensive because the more the parties have to argue about and the more complex these issues are, uh, the longer it takes. And there's discovery involved, so written questions to the other side. There's depositions. There's motion practice. And then finally a trial. So it can, it can be an expensive proposition. Uh, there's several alternatives that can make divorce a lot more efficient, uh, effective, and it, a lot of these alternatives leave the parties with less bad blood. It's a lot less stressful, and it, it allows them to work together after the divorce for the benefit of any children involved. So let's first talk about legal separation. So a lot of you probably know that a prerequisite to divorce is to live separate and apart for six months um, unless both parties waive this prerequisite. This is a different thing. Legal separation is different from living separate and apart. Legal separation is kind of a middle step before going to the finality of divorce. The parties can go into court and have the court basically issue an order having them be legally separated, living separate and apart. But during the uh, course of their legal separation, the court's order will determine issues of child support, child custody, spousal maintenance, and assets. So it's a lot of the same issues that would be resolved in the divorce are resolved in a legal separation during the period of the legal separation. Now, the parties can either reconcile or they can get a formally divorced. And if they do get formally divorced, then a lot of the legwork they did to resolve the issues during the legal separation can carry over into the divorce case and make the divorce more efficient. Another uh, alternative to a traditional divorce is an uncontested divorce. And this is pretty simple. This is when the parties agree to all of the issues surrounding the divorce before filing their divorce. And in this case, and they can do this with the help of their attorneys, negotiate them, but the final product is something called the marital settlement agreement, where they resolve most of the issues re regarding spousal maintenance and asset division and child support. And then there's a joint parenting agreement in which they resolve issues of parental time and responsibility. Uh, the attorney will file these negotiated agreements with the divorce petition with the court, and the divorce will usually take about a month, and there will only be one court appearance required to formalize the divorce, and it's much less expensive than a traditional divorce. So basically the bottom line is in an uncontested divorce, you are not litigating the issues in court. You're agreeing to the issues ahead of time through negotiation. Now there's some tools that can help you in an uncontested divorce, uh, and they are kind of their own separate alternatives as well. So one is collaborative or cooperative divorce. These are two similar but slightly different things. In both a collaborative or cooperative divorce, the, uh, the parties and their attorneys both sign an agreement saying that they're going to work to negotiate issues out of court uh, and freely exchange information and act in good faith to avoid any litigation. In a collaborative divorce, as opposed to a cooperative, the attorneys also agree that they won't represent their clients if litigation becomes necessary. So the clients are going to have to go and get new attorneys if litigation becomes necessary, which is a disincentive for everyone involved to litigate. The attorneys don't want to be fired by their clients, so they're going to try to reach a settlement. The clients don't want to have to start from scratch with new attorneys and have the extra expense, so they're more likely to reach a settlement. So a collaborative divorce is a little bit of a high-stakes gamble that you are going to be able to reach a settlement, and it makes a settlement more likely. A cooperative divorce makes a settlement slightly less likely because the attorneys can continue to represent their clients, uh, but if litigation is necessary, it's a little bit less expensive because you don't have to go and get new attorneys. If you're not able to reach a settlement on all of your issues through a coll the collaborative divorce process, you can do something called divorce mediation. Uh, and this can this happens in a traditional divorce. It can happen without going through the collaborative divorce process. But a divorce mediation is when a professional mediator, usually a uh, judge or a, a retired judge or a lawyer uh, who's trained in mediation, 
will come in and work with the parties and their attorneys to help them settle all of the issues involved in their divorce. So this is, you want to have settled as many issues as you can before the mediation, and then the tough issues that you're not able to settle, the mediator will work with the parties to help them settle those issues. And then, and only then, if the parties aren't able to settle their issues, would they go forward with litigation and a trial. If the parties do settle their issues, then the end product is, again, a marital settlement agreement, a joint parenting agreement, and that's submitted to the, the, accord and the court and the divorce is finalized. Sometimes in a divorce mediation, the parties can settle some of their issues and some issues have to be litigated. But the benefit of any of these processes we're talking about is the more issues that you can resolve outside of court, the less issues you have to litigate, the less expensive, the shorter your divorce will be if it turns into a traditional divorce litigation. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below this post at learn-about-law.com, and we'll try to reply to you within a couple of days. Uh, or you can leave them below the YouTube video on our YouTube station. If you found this helpful and you'd like to be notified of the topics of the new articles and videos we post daily, uh, you can subscribe to us on YouTube, iTunes, and SoundCloud. And uh, feel free to give us a call at 630-324-6666. That's 630-324-6666. We offer free consultations, uh, and we have offices all around Chicagoland for your convenience. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Click the subscribe button for new videos every week and download and review us on iTunes. Visit learn-about-law.com for other legal-related articles and videos. Visit our business podcast and video blog, seizeyourbusiness.com. And visit Making Real Estate Fun for real estate videos and podcasts. Call us at 630-324-6666 for a free consultation.